Hello and welcome to another Nico Media. Yeah, today it's a quick tip again, more than else. Uh, long ago, uh, I got a question about this thing and I'm a little embarrassed about it uh, because I've totally forgot about this one and I was asked how I would do this, this folding of a disc here, the, the, the disc folds like this here. And yeah, uh, I have two ideas for this and uh, and I have a little time. Sorry that, that, that I, I, I'm a little quiet at the moment. So, 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 uh, in the last days, because it, it's again, I'm, I'm really busy and uh, I have a lot to think. And, and uh, yeah, sorry for this, but it uh, will be soon better again. <laughs> so, okay, let's try this. Um, yeah, as I said, I have two ideas and one, yeah, they are both quite easy. But the second one, so uh, is will, will be uh, we have more uh, opportunity opportunities to do this. So uh, just let's let's start with this whole thing here. I start of course with a disc. Good. Here I don't need any segments here. And let's say twenty four is enough for this test here. And uh, yeah. I don't want to stay parametric, so I, uh, you could now uh, convert the disk, if, uh, but I, I don't want to convert it because maybe later I want to do a, a more uh, segments or something else, and I don't want to make every time a new disk. Yeah, I could make it in a backup folder, but let's let's stay parametric as, as long as we can. Good. So uh, next step is yeah. To uh, can select some to, to, to be able to select some points, I use now. I selected my disk and I use we know it meanwhile the correction deformer. And now I am able to select points here. Good with UL, I select the points and I just want every second point. And for this, I have a nice plugin here, and uh, the, the link is in the description. It's named a uh, selection service, so and in R20 it looks like this here. It's, uh, don't even know which question, uh, which, uh, which uh, anyway, I know it, I know the plugin with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the symbols, and I need the first one here. And it says, okay, uh, take every second point, and then just say, okay. And you see, it selects every second point. So I said the link is in the description of, the, of this uh, of this video. So just look in the description, and you will find it. So and here I make now a point selection, a selection text. So set selection you will find here as well. Set selection. Good. Next step is I want a displacer. Let's bring the displacer under the correction deformer. And in the displacer, the shading, and I need just a color. So, whoop, 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 color. You see, there is something. So, let's try this 30. You see, okay, it does something here. And now I want that this color affects, so the displacer affects only the points. So, what I do is I make a restriction tag on the displacer and bring in the point selection. But we will see, okay, there is nothing. The simple solution is just drag the point selection to the disk. And now you see we get something like this. And this is exactly what I want. And the nice thing now is, with the disk, we have the possibility to slice the disk. So, go to the slice, and what we get is something like this. And that looks very nice. So the only thing we have to do now is to keyframe this whole thing. So that when we are here on 360 degrees, we want a flat disk and here we want it like this. So let's do this. I am on frame zero and I want to start here from, let's say, 15 degrees here. Okay. I lock this here so that and make a keyframe. Then I go to the displacer 
and say it's 30, at this at zero is okay, and make a keyframe. Then I go, let's say, to frame 75 in my case, and here I want to go from to 360 degrees, keyframe it, and in the displacer to zero and keyframe it again. And we get this. And this is our animation. So easy it can be. When you see this, this weird uh, shading issues, uh, just go to the Fong tag and go with the Fong a little up. So, so let's, uh, or you disable the Fong tag. It, it, it depends on what you need. So you see when you disable the Fong tag here. And it, of course, looks different when it's rendered, when, when you have a material on it and then everything. Good. But let's make it a little more, a little nicer, and not so, so, so sharp everything. Because now we can put a barrel deformer on it. So we make a barrel deformer under the displacer. My barrel deformer by default is set, uh, I'm locked here still. So is set to 40 degrees and here I want just one degree so that means it, it, it soon it, it is uh, flat I don't want any paper deformer here we, you see we have a paper deformer on it now I go here paper deformer, paper deformer, paper deformer, paper deformer and now whoops the paper deformer disappears as soon as it is flat but you see we have here a little problem and this we can avoid because it shouldn't be closed here, I think, because it, uh, uh, this here are holes, so this is not really closed. So let's go to the disk, and we are in the disk, we have the, pos the, op the possibility to uh, object inner radius. Let's go to, let's say, 10, maybe, or 5, and you see we get a little problem here now. This is because now we have more points, and so the point selection does not work anymore. We need a new point selection now, but this is no problem. Let's see here. We delete this one, go to the correction deformer points, and you see these points are selected, but these are, of course, now wrong. So I select all the points again, except these ones in the middle, they don't need them, and I use my handy tool here again, my handy thing here, so, okay, you see, every second one is is uh, selected, selection tag, and drag it to here, go to the restriction and drag in the new selection tag, and now it should work again, and it works again, and now we don't have this problem with the barrel here. Okay. And of course now you can work with the barrel however you want, you can make a bigger barrel, smaller barrel, whatever. Okay. Yeah, this is the first one. Now let's see. Is there to say something more about this? No, not, not really. Yeah, if you wanna make this thicker, it's just no problem too. You can t uh, work totally simply with this. Uh, you can use an, a cloth tag, uh, a, a cloth, yeah, cloth surface, or you can use the extruder here. You know it. Meanwhile, this, this is a, a plugin from the from Maxon. You can you find every link in the description. So let's say if we use the cloth tag here, simulate cloth tag. You see, it's apparent here. Make it one centimeter. And we have here, yeah, with the cloth tag, you see, we get a little, but this shouldn't be thick. This is this is a very thin material, so <coughs> something like this. Let's go back to the phone tag and activate the phone tag again. And you see, it works with this two. Oopsie, point five. But when we close it, let's see if this works too. And it is. Yeah, it works. It works perfect here. But I think when we do this with the with this guy here, so make it thicker. No, oh, it works too. 
We don't have any problem here. Let's see, point five. Create caps, so and whoop, everything works. Okay, now let's make the second one. This it's not complicated, so it's it's uh, it's just a little more to do, but not not really. A, and we are more flexible with this. So I hide this everything here. So bye bye. And I for the second one I use a mo spline. So let's go to the to MoGraph, 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 and use a mo spline. So, and I need another one. So I copy this, control drag it down, and the second one. I go to here the simple and this I put just let's say 10 centimeter high. So okay. This is the height of our folds then. Good. Next step is we need a cloner. Go try to find the cloner here and put both most blinds in the cloner. We get this, but I want of course a, a radial cloner here. In the correct axis, so looks a little weird at the moment, but let's say here 50 and here 10. It looks still weird with what should this be. But if we now select our cloner and put the cloner in the loft, oh, as cloner is selected, I hold my Alt key and click on the loft. Look what we get. Here we get a much smoother uh, result. And of course, here we can now work in the cloner with with the uh, end angle here, and so we can fold this to. But when I go to 360 here, I see okay, there is something wrong, and so I make one more cloner. So I'm down here, okay, and go with the. But uh, something like that. Okay, and I can see this when I uh, make the second one here and say go back to zero. Now I have a flat thing here. So I render this, and this. here I have to do this. Thing. Okay, uh, where was it now? Uh, here. Okay, most blind. I don't want to see this blind here. Display mode line. Okay. Go to the cloner. Make it a little closer. So go up with the angle here. And here I can put the whole cloner in a connect object. Select the cloner. Go to my connect object. And it disappears. <laughs> now the connect object has to be about uh, over the loft, uh, above the loft, so, so connect and the loft in the connect. That should be the, the loft in the connect. So connect, loft, okay. Now I can go to the connect and can go up here a little bit if I want. Until it's closed, you see it's closes. And now, but we have got a problem here. This, this is not what I want. Point one, just go with the cloner a little first. So, I hold my Alt key to have a small increments. So, and that's it. Okay, we are closed. So now I can go up again here with this line here to ten, and I get this. So and the next thing is simply make the same animation more than less like before. Uh, I want to start with uh, uh, so I copy this one, so. or I can start here so I don't have to copy it. Go to frame seventy five. So this is the end angle. Okay. Um, when I lock this. Then I go to my most spline here, the second one, 
and bring this to zero because here I want a flat surface. Good, and one to zero, I make here. Now I go frame zero, angle 10, keyframe, and here to let's say 15 cent keyframe. Done. It's not more. Whoops. You see, works great. And here you are a little more flexible if you want, let's say, I want here uh, more a shape from a satellite uh, antenna or something else. I take both splines here. Okay, I have here the lock. Got the simple and here in the curve, okay, uh, not the curve, in the bend. In the bend I can bend it a little bit. That's it more than the shape of a of a satellite antenna and now it still works. And we have a perfect thing. And of course here we can now use uh, above the connect we can use the extruder again. Let's see the point five with caps and this should work too. You see we have extrusion here. And of course it works now a little slower because of the extrusion. It has to calculate every step but we get a really nice thing here. With NA I can hide the thing here so And of course, you don't. You can do this with everything. You can do this with, with uh, let's say, uh, yeah, with straight things uh, <laughs> as well, with curtains or something else. Yeah, that's it. You see how easy it is, and it's fun. So it's it's quite useful. Okay. So as I said, uh, sadly I am really busy, but. Uh, I do my best to, to uh, make the next longer tutorial soon and uh, yeah there will of course come but if you have questions of course you can ask every time and then I try to answer as soon as possible but this one is, as I said sorry for this that it, it needs it so long but uh, I totally forgot it honestly and now I stumbled over it again but it's nothing lost so, so, so my questions are all under uh, here in on Gmail and uh, Anfrage and uh, there are all my requests inside here. Okay, good. So I wish you a wonderful yeah, evening. It's here, you see. And uh, yeah, all the best from here from Vienna again. I wish you a wonderful weekend. And yeah, if you have questions, please ask. If you have requests, uh, even if they could take a little longer, please request. And if you have complaints, you can complain, of course. What I do with these complaints, I don't know. This is about how I'm in the mood, so... <laughs> I read it, of course. <laughs> and if you want to donate, you can do this in my... Uh, you will find every link you need in the description. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so as well and the link is in the description as well and yeah there's nothing more to say the, and yeah i'm i'm soon back with more time i i, I promise so <laughs> and i think about maybe we do something live some uh, one day so so but i have to see how i do this with the, with the streaming and everything but uh, maybe we do something live with questions and answers and something else so so or something funny and yeah if you if you want to see something live please tell me this because uh, when when I have just five people who say yeah life would be nice uh, yeah five people do yeah, why not maybe this these are not then the, the, the best people ever <laughs> you never know okay so okay that's for today and I am back with more time for you soon and uh, Wish you all the best here from Vienna und tschüss und baba.